Okay, today marks uh, the start of year three with the Simplex. And um, on the 17th of 2020, first time using the Simplex, found a Buffalo nickel right up there. Silver dime there also. And weirdly enough, exactly one year later, on January 17th, 2021, I dug another buffalo nickel right there. So I made this tradition in my own front yard to detect under the big pine tree on this day. I'm almost afraid to find another buffalo nickel because how many could there be? I mean, I lived here for 22 years and I didn't know that those two buffalo nickels were there. And I had been through my front yard with other detectors. But today, I don't know if I'm going to be able to dig because the ground is solid, but I got a hammer and chisel. I just wanted to get a few targets on video today, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's set it up. Uh, it's kind of kind of dreary day today. Let's go park mode. Uh, original version 268. Let's uh, put the, the lights on. Iron all the way up. It's ground balance. Let's put the volume back up. There we go. Okay, here we go. First target, I'm within a couple feet of that uh, second buffalo nickel that I had dug. January 17, 2021, but... Oh boy, let's see how this goes. Look at that, it's solid as a rock. Ah, uh, shoot. I don't want to bore everybody with watching me chip this out of here, but once I get to it, I'll turn you back on. Okay, that first target I gave up on, I couldn't get down to it. The ground so froze. Here's a more shallower target. Let's see if we can get this one out. Oh, it's right on top. Tin foil. Okay, well, unfortunately, I went back in the house and got the head strap because I'm just not going to be able to dig. I was on this hole for at least five minutes, gave up. And I tried to pull a target out here. I was here for 15 minutes down about six, seven inches. I still couldn't get it. Even down that deep, the ground is still solid. So I wanted to get something up today because it's my one year or uh third year simplex anniversary i'll just poke around here and show you how cleaned out that i got this pump it up all the way
Got a big target here that I've been passing up for years and years, but maybe one of these days I'll dig it up and see what it is. Found that first buffalo nickel right here. Here's another big target. I think I'm gonna try for that. Yeah, I got it pretty cleaned out. Yep. Nothing. Not even trash. <laughs> I got a signal here, I just couldn't retrieve it. Probably trash though. Nothing. Nothing. Here we go. And it's zinc penny range. try for it. Let's give it a shot. At least get one target on video. Alright, here we go. Oh great, it's deeper. Ah, shoot. Ah, there ain't no way. There ain't no way. Ah, shoot. Uh, this will be the last one that I try. This is the last one. Because this is ridiculous. That's why I haven't had no new content up on my channel in the last couple weeks. Because of this. Took it off the head strap. I can't stand that head strap. This will be the last one here. Let's see if I can get just one out. I'll be happy with a zinc penny on this one. Just pull.
pull something out here. Oh, we got it out. Where'd you go? Okay. Oh, cool. <laughs> what is that? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. I just destroyed it, and it's a 1940. <laughs> I can't believe that. The 1946 Canadian. Holy. How did I miss that? 1941 King George. I don't know, about four inches, three inches. What the hell? <laughs> I destroyed it, but holy crap, I was not expecting that. How did I miss that one? Well, at least I got that on video for my annual January 17th Simplex under the pine tree in my front yard video. 1941 Canadian penny that I destroyed. Okay, that'll be it for the video. Thanks for watching. Quick wrap up. One piece of foil and one 1941 King George Canadian penny. I almost drove the chisel through. Thanks for watching.